You want some collard greens and corbett, huh? You want some baked bangs, huh? You want some baked bangs with some mashed potatoes on the side, huh? Okay. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? It is your girl Ilfe Monet back with another one for you today and we are going to be doing my nose ring is itching me. We are going to be doing eyeliner. One of the things that I find, like one of the things I get asked about the most is eyeliner. And to me, eyeliner is one of the most easiest things to do. So, I mean, I mean, I guess it just depends on how steady your hand is or can depend on the type of brush you're using so let me show you guys how I do my eyeliner again so first off let me talk about eyeliners the eyeliner that I'm currently using is dip dip what do you call this eyeliner this is like the dipping eyeliner this is liquid eyeliner so is this but this is no wait this is not liquid Oh, th yeah, this is liquid, but this is like fine point. There's different types of points, like this is probably fine point too, but you'll also get felt tip eyeliners and stuff like that, and those are all liquid. But it just really depends on what type of look you want for your eyeliner or like how easy you want your eyeliner to make your eyeliner or like how easy you want the point to be so that way you don't have to really fix it like with felt tip or like fine tip those are the ones that you won't really need to fix the tips of your eyeliner because it's already in the point so you'll probably just need to clean it up a bit but with felt tip and all those eyeliners it's liquid eyeliner so it's just kind of like you have to deal with really it being liquid and liquid eyeliner is a thing on its own like liquid eyeliner can be like transferable or like it can lift from your lid to like up here when you close your eyes and stuff like that so that's one thing about liquid eyeliner and then it just depends on the person on like how you want your eyeliner to look or like what you just want to use so I mean for me I just switch in between for me when it comes to choosing an eyeliner it just depends on how dark the eyeliner is and I personally think liquid eyeliner is darker than dipping eyeliner I'm just going to be using my dipping eyeliner, which is what I normally use anyways when like I want dramatic looks or stuff like that because I don't like to use liquid because the more liquid you use, the more you're going to run out. So I mean with dip powder, you can at least make it, make it spread by adding some makeup remover or some alcohol, you know, to kind of like make it less thick or whatever the product looks thick so that way you can spread it this is my last brush that I use this little fine tip one same thing as using a fine tip liquid eyeliner you can use an angle brush the same thing you can use like a fine tip but bent brush it just depends on the person you know so we're gonna pour a little bit of makeup remover clean our brush so I'm not used to this I'm not used to looking down I don't know because I'm good at my eyeliner, but even I f*** up sometimes. Because it really depends. Your eyeliner really depends on where you place it. If you place it, like, if you do it too high or too low, or, yeah. It really depends on how, how you want your eyeliner to look. Because there's all types of eyeliner looks. You can make it thin, like the thin little eyeliner. Or you can make it thick, which is what I'm doing. So yeah, it really just depends on how you do it and how you want it to look. So I use a little bit of makeup remover and mix it with my eyeliner. So that way I can make my eyeliner more stretchy and more like a paint rather than some hard material. Not hard material, but like some hard charcoal that I'm trying to rub onto my eye. That way it just glides better. You can start from here, but I like to start from here because this is the top of my eye and that way all I gotta do is just connect the bottom. And I normally try to like follow the natural flow of my eye. So I don't close my eye when I'm doing my eyeliner. That's why I like angles, it is important. So I can see the correct way my eye falls or whatever you call it. I can't hold this while doing this. So this is where I decided my natural eye. Yeah, because you can kind of see it, like there's the curve right before. And just do a quick swift movement. 
just do it. Do it! Because if you just if you just take your time and stuff like that, you're gonna have a lot of like gaps to fill in. It's not gonna be as clean and whatnot. So just do it. And if you don't like the length of it, you can fix it. So then when we're coming to the bottom, I don't start right here on the crevice. I start just above. And then I kind of curve it in. Ugh, that, that was bad, I'm not going to lie. Curve it in. Now I'm going to have to clean up, as you can see. But, ugh. Oh. That's how I do it. And I just keep filling it in. And I'll make it how. Oh, oh. All right, whatever. I'm going to have to clean it. So, that's how you do that. You can darken it up. Really, you're done. But, you know, it just depends on how you want it to look. So, you can make it more dramatic by bringing it into your corner. Be careful because and add a hump which you'll have to connect it back to the rest of the eyeliner so give yourself a little bit of a cat eye mix it more intense fill it in all right and I personally like my curve to be more pronounced I feel like it gives a little bit of more flattery so I'll go in and I'll curve it on the bottom. Can you see that curve? Right there. Yeah, I poked myself in the eye. So then we will take um, take some concealer. You don't have to take concealer. You can use a brush too, and just use the makeup remover. But the makeup remover is going to be a lot harder than than the concealer. So you might take off some stuff you don't really want to. in my hair but <laughs> yeah you know just the better the clean will look see and that's only happening because I added the makeup remover to my eyeliner so that's why it's transferring onto my top lid so if that does happen just take some black eyeshadow and apply it on top so then what I'll do after that is I'll take my eyeliner and I'll go as close to my waterline as I can. Connect it and then bring it a little bit down but not too far down. And then take a blender, I should guess this one. Just blend it out. Take your um, concealer brush again, clean it up, pull it back like, just thin it so it isn't so thick. Lit. <laughs> I'm gonna take a brush and add that black on top. I'm gonna add some powder to my skin so that way I can stop 
any possible transfers from happening. Just in case. Now, if you have eyeshadow on, you don't have to worry about transferring. It's just that my eye is moisturized. It's just that my eye is moisturized that my eye liner is transferring. So that's one eye. All right, now eyeliner is done. With this eyeliner, I love to add big, sparse, or dollish lashes, or like spider lashes, stuff like that. I love spider lashes for these type of eyeliners. Where are my eyelashes? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> so I already did a tutorial on how to put on eyelashes, but I guess I'll do a quick tutorial. You put on your eyelashes, make sure they're clean because you don't want too much gunk on them. Otherwise, they'll look bulky. I prefer these type, these type with this tip, by the way, if you want to know what type of eyelash, whatever you call these things, eyelash plucker. Really, nigga? And I use Duo, I use the black one. I like to put on like two layers because when it comes to heavy eyelashes like this, they don't like to stick. And sometimes your eyelash may already have glue on it. So, you try to put your eyelash on and it's stuck to your eyelash thingy. And it's like, are you serious? So you've already wasted that first layer of eyelash glue. So, just let it dry. Wait for it to get tacky. Not still wet. Wait for it to get tacky. If you put it on and it comes right off, it's too early. If you put it on and it don't stick on, like it sticks, but it doesn't stick like how it should, it was too late. You did it too late. Whip it a couple times, you know, in the air, just do your thing. So. What's that one commercial? All right, you've probably seen the infomercial. Maybe you've seen it parodied. Uh, they're called Shake Weights. Parodies? You Never. were demonstrating. Yes. Uh, they're now the focus of a brand new fitness class. That is right. <laughs> Allie McKay is shaking with excitement oh, at the prospect of taking part of this new Shake Weight class. And Allie, is it better to go yes. slow or better to go fast? Just a really, nigga? These type of eyeliners, I like to put my eyelash far back here. So it lets my, so it lets my eye look wider. So, we're gonna look up here. So that way you can get it as close to your eyeliner. Or not eyeliner, but your eyeliner as possible. It's not ready to go on. So, be careful when you apply it. So since it's not sticky, enough or it's not ready to go on it's still kind of like wet I normally would just go in and like pinch my eye so that way my um, my skin is covering it but I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit longer and I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one And I just fold my eye over like that so that way my eye so that way the um the band is covered on the eyeliner on the eyelash so you can't see it it looks more like um what's it called eyelash extensions rather than like falsies and you know just take your um little eyelash curler fix it up You know me. I need my little um, beauty mark. Even though my beauty mark is up there and I put it down there. <laughs> I don't even 
even want to call these beauty marks because I think they're like just freckles really because I have freckles over here too. So I mean like are they freckles or are they beauty marks? Like does the beauty mark have to be black? <laughs> Anyways, oh yeah and um, mascara on the bottom lashes too. Now be careful. I kind of like my lashes to blend in to like obviously darker on this side and then lighter on this side. That's why you don't do fake beauty marks. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Just a nice little pink to add to my face. Warm me up. So I don't look, so I look kind of dimensional. got a brush so damn and it put a bump in my head <laughs> I got a brush and it put a bump in my head um so let me put on some lipstick and finish the look where is it oh so my lipstick is just some brown eyeliner, brown lip liner, wherever it's at. I'll just do some brown liner. Y'all gonna hate me the way I do my liner, <laughs> but that's uh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I go over my cupid's bow and I bring it up like that over my lip. <laughs> and this is how I do my eyeliner, my lip liner. And I'm going to go fix my hair. <laughs> oh shit. Shit, <laughs> I'm posing and I forgot to do my eyebrows. Yeah, I got my grill in. Uh, I really don't feel like doing my eyebrows. There we go. I mean, my eyebrows are more wilder than this anyways. them for the video so yeah I look like an auntie like how you doing good baby you doing good baby you want some collard greens you want some collard greens and corbett huh you want some baked bangs huh you want some baked bang with some mashed potatoes on the side hat huh? okay <laughs> that's definitely gonna be in the beginning of the video like I wish I had my nails done. My nails were done and they were cute too, but they broke. They broke. Stop it. Get some help.